I've done as good of dance videos, or you know, I've done good ones like that before. I might have even done better ones, but those are definitely the best that haven't. I was, I'm pretty sure those are the best. I haven't. I don't think I've watched all my dance videos, but those didn't get messed up like most, or like over half of my dance videos have. Even the ones that are still that you can still watch, the audio will get disabled or something else, or it would not look correct or something. It would be choppy or whatever. But those ones actually turned out okay. So I was kind of, I mean, they could have done better. I can, I could probably do better things, but. I'm happy with what ha with how they turned out. Oh. oh yeah. I was, while well, I've been out, I was just a little bit ago on MySpace. But I've actually logged into it like three times the last week. I just got on the last week and I haven't been on in you know, like over a year. But I was suspended from my account so I just you know, started using some chat sites, just doing some stuff. Um, Facebook I used to. I mean, well that I've been using. Twitter. I only had to use that once, but I actually went on. I didn't write anything, but I added some celebrities and some other sites. Or, you know, some like TV shows. Um, I got logged back onto that sometime to see if there's anything to comment on. I want to talk about the MySpace one. That was weird, like, because I haven't been on there in over a year. But I was reading some of the stuff I wrote. I'm not sure when I wrote it. I was writing about, I think it was high school. I'm not trying to get to this. Yeah, well one thing, some of it I understood why I wrote and some of it I didn't, you know, because your mindset changes. I mean, I know most of why I wrote it, some of the stuff I, I think I was trying to make a point about some, the way people thought about it. But I'll get into that later. Like, um, I was just reading the part about where I, was writing like about my behavior in high school because I had crazy behavior. I so was always doing crazy shit and just sitting there like come on, looking like I was dead and you know, just standing up. Um, or I mean just like sitting still for anyway. Um, I wrote that my behavior or whenever I wrote this I wrote my behavior was like because of drugs I was taking, which I did take a lot of drugs in high school, and um, that I, I think I, um, I wrote I was also like mixing or like it doesn't not necessarily literally which I did that too I would, but I'm just talking about like taking this and this and this and even if you don't mix them take them take that even mixing like taking one thing after another can be really dangerous too I did that of course I also mixed stuff and like smoked it and, like, but I was taking a lot of different things but the reason 
it says on there is because I was bored and uh, what else? Kinda just cause life sucked and everything. But that's that's part of the reason, but not the main reason. The main reason is is cause um, when I first went to high school, I'd never gone to school before, and it was tough because my first year I got that Gillian Beret, so I like from the shots they gave me. It, Instead of doing what it was supposed to, it built up something that, like, paralyzed me and made me retarded. Well, I, I was, like, it kind of put my whole, I had to retrain myself to do everything. It, I had a lot of hard things that happened in the hospital, and I couldn't do anything about it, you know, spinal taps, IVs, blood, all kinds of electric shock, all kinds of crazy stuff, getting woken up, and, and breathing, and chips, and all chips. Um, anyways, it was really tough, because I had started out at a private school, or like, an academy type thing, and then, after that, I got suspended from there, I don't remember why, I think I was just having bad grades or something. Um, but then I went to a public school and I was like retarded. But I still couldn't walk hardly. Every year I got a little bit more of me back. But the drugs, whenever I was on drugs, I felt like I was me again, you know. But when I wasn't, you know, I went back to being like. Because it had taken. Now I'm, you know, pretty much have gotten all my strength and everything back. But I had. I was. I had to retrain myself to do everything I but the drugs sped up the process enough. Anytime I was doing something, or, you know, being wild, like, I would get up and dance and do all kinds of I was totally wild sometimes. Other times I would just sit there and, like, watch the world like it was a movie. And usually when I w didn't do absolutely nothing, it's because I wasn't on. I didn't have any drugs, and usually when I passed tests or did my work in class, or, um, you know, and, like, P when I would really get into playing and everything, it's because I had some drugs. This is usually because I, without drugs, I couldn't be, I had absolutely no strength, or I didn't, I would, it was just like I went back to my because my body still hadn't regained itself. So, it's, it was definitely really crazy for me. Yeah, that was a tough time. But see, it made me learn a lot about everything. And, I mean, my whole life has been totally crazy. Including my childhood. And I've been through a ton of accidents, broke my arm. And all kinds of things. But I've learned so much, I just wish I could use it, you know? Like, I just keep, <laughs> I'm not really able to use everything that I learned about. But also, I don't know. I don't know if where I'm going to go or if I'll make it anywhere. But if I die or, you know, don't like it, I hope someone else takes some of my stories, because my life's been crazy. You know, so much is that. Not, I'm not saying my life's, like, more interesting than others, but I just hope someone uses my life to, like, because other people can learn from it, even if I'm not able.